Hey everybody, it's Jim. I'm back with another video about Steve Jackson Games Fantasy Trip, and we're going to go over the combat system now, and we're just going to get right into it. It's actually quite simple, even though it is very deep at the same time. Uh, little things happen, a lot of uh, different weapons can cause a lot of different things, but let's just get right down into it. I can talk about it later. So we got um, Ophelia, Gold Minier, American Zelina going up against Ulf, Rochelle, Cadius, and Solar. Both have them. Both have uh, Bowman on their side, Solar over here, and we've got Golmanir over here. Now, the first thing we're going to do to start a turn is roll for movement initiative. If you remember last last uh, video, I talked about movement initiative and combat initiative. Of course, we're going to go through both of them here, but movement initiative is first. And this one, we do use a roll. And we're going to roll. Now, if somebody on each side had a player with the skill tactics, they would get to add one or two to the roll. Okay, in this case, uh, ties, we got to reroll. Uh, okay, ties, we got to reroll. <laughs> okay, so our top team here is going to going to have their initiative. They get to choose whether they go first or second. And, of course, they're going to, this time, they're going to choose for the other team to go for, forward first. Um, as in other games, it's always usually customary to have the other team go first so you can see where they're at and that's going to matter here but what i like about this and you might see this move as i play um there are times where you'll actually want to go first and we'll get into that in a little bit and it's more like a 60 40 thing um most games it's usually 90 90 percent 10 percent you want the other guy to go first anyway so so we're going to move these guys around so as i said before uh moving all out you can move that many hexes but you can only move half of your uh, movement allowance and still do an action which includes dodging and with a bowman on the other side of the fence uh, We're gonna want to dodge a little bit. So first thing we'll do is uh, move Ophelia here. She's got a 10 So she'll move five one two three four five And then and it's a team movement by the way Everybody's going and that might seem a little bit odd because I mean initiative everybody's got you know You think oh everybody moves and then they attack or something like that. No, no, this is team movement and that's a lot of tactical value. So we're going to move Merrick. He's got a 10 as well. And Merrick is here. He's going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're going to form a little, uh, a little uh, line here. And it's going to be important because in this game, uh, getting attacked from the back is a big bonus. And I'll get more into that in a bit. So then we got Selena. Now, she can only move 3 uh, if she still wants to dodge. And so she's going to do that because it's just not fun getting pe pecked off. And then now, the difference here is Goldmanir. Goldmanir is just going to move one so he can still shoot. Anybody that has a ranged weapon can only move one and still shoot. So he'll move one. So that's simple as up. That's the turn there for them. So now we've got Ulf, Rochelle, Cadius, and Solar. So let's move them around, huh? All right. So uh, we got... Let's move that around manually here. Okay, that'll make it easier. Uh, Ulf has got a uh, movement of six, and then nobody's going to reach there and uh, still be able to attack. So we're not going to worry about that too much. So Ulf is just going to kind of go one, two, three, and he's still a target because you got a uh, Goldmanir over there with the bow back there, and Brichelle's going to—they're all going to kind of form their little, little own little thing here. Now, let me see here, Cadius. Yes, one, two, three, four. And you can, when you're, now right now everybody's moved pretty much straight forward, right? But after you move, if you wish, you can change facing anywhere you want. There's no, there's no, doesn't matter if somebody's next to you or not, you can always change facing. And that's big time important in this game. Now, um, there we go, Solar's going to move forward. And I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a shoot fight against the Bowman here. But anyway, let's get right down to it. So now movement's done. So, now it's combat initiative. Who goes first? Well, it goes to the person with the highest adjusted dexterity. That's after armor and all that stuff. And that also includes when you get hit. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, so, who's going to go first? We've got Ophelia with a 9, Golmanir with a 13, Merrick with a 10, Zelena with a 7. So, Golmanir on this side. And anybody got to beat a 13? Solar does. Boom, boom, boom. Solar beats a 13 with a 14. So, Solar is going to fire first, and he's going to fire with the bow. So we're going to figure out how to do bowman, I mean, ranged weaponry here. This is actually going to be quite simple. Uh, basically, um, now, in, to fire, basically, you're going to roll three dice against your uh, against your dexterity. And with Solar with a 14, it's most likely going to hit. 
So, uh, what's the modifiers for range? Well, it comes down to these mega hexes. Uh, the first two mega hexes that flows out, and it doesn't matter where you are in your mega hex, and we, I should actually make more stuff over here for these, you know, count this a mega hex. Um, doesn't matter, I mean, you can modify this the way you want, but gen the general game is, through the mega hex, the first two is free, and then the next two count is a negative one, and then the next two is a negative two, and so on. All right, simple as that. Um, so because melee, I mean, missile weapons go pretty far. Uh, thrown weapons are a little bit different. Throw weapons actually is negative one for each hex, for a, like a throwing an axe or a dagger. A lot different than a missile weapon. Anyway, let's just get right down to it. Now she's gonna want Solar's gonna want to actually go up against the uh, other bowman here because this. Uh, She's got armor, and that's going to be... It's only going to do one die of damage, so any armor's really going to not do as much as she'd like. And, uh, Merrick here is, is a good shot, um, but she's got, uh... She's got a little bit of, uh, Brienne here in the way. You know what? I'm just going to prove the... I'm just going to do it anyway. She doesn't like Merrick, so Shalar's going to shoot Merrick, but Brichelle's in the way. What happens? Well, she's going to have to roll to miss, and because she's a good... Uh, a good, uh, you know, got a 14, she's not likely she's going to hit. So, yeah, you roll to miss the your friends. And we've got a... <laughs> okay, fine. 15. So she does hit her. So she hits her own friend right in the rear end. It's like, okay. So, okay, with a horse bow, one die damage. So let's take it. And Brichelle takes a whopping six. Wow. Okay, cloth armor is negative one hit, so five points of damage. As you can see, that's easy enough. One, one, okay. One, 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 two, three, four, five. Now, one thing happens here because she took five points of damage. When you take damage in this game of five points, you get a negative two marker, okay? And that lasts for your next attack, or your next, uh, for the whole turn, all right? So, and it's not going to matter here too much. Um, I think it'll matter for her next turn, unfortunately. But her dexterity is now a 10, and that includes um, not just a hit, it also includes when she goes. As you can see, this is one of the reasons why going first really matters. Somebody else is going to go hit next. Well, you hit them first, hit them enough, and now they attack later in the round. It happens immediately. Nothing in this, ha in this game happens simultaneously. So, that's resolved. Boom. Great shot, Solar. Great shot. What a, with a pro with a bow. Anyway, so now who's next? So basically, uh, Solar is done, and we've got 11, 12s, and 8. So 12, Brichelle would be next. Actually, geez, what did I just say? That's actually a 10. That's actually a 10. Cadius will now go before Brichelle because of the negative 2 here. So, Cadius has got a 10. Anybody beaten a 10? I'm pretty sure Goldminer does. So, goldminer has got 13. So now, he's going to fire at Solar. Why not? No, actually... Now, he can fire through Merrick and get there, <laughs> but he's going to be smart about it. He's going to take the shot on Solar. Now, I ha I can figure this out, but I usually roll dice first and ask questions later. That's my kind of rule to make things efficient. Um, that way, you don't have to figure things out, because if, when you roll an 11, well, from a 13, let's figure this out, actually. There's one mega hex that goes right through, two mega hexes. That's free. The next two mega hexes is negative one, and the next two mega hexes are negative two. So it's an 11 from a 13 dexterity, uh, 13 dexterity right there. So that actually hits, barely. I'm glad I did figure it out, actually. So, uh, Golmanir has a longbow for 1d plus 2 damage. Let's roll it off. And it's 5 points of damage on, 5 points of damage on Sealar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now she's down to 5 points, and we're going to give her a nice negative 2 right here. So on her next, you know, fight um, is going to be a negative two dexterity. Uh, she might not even go first anymore. Um, so those are the only two that can fight. Everybody else is kind of in uh, limbo over here. So let's just get right down to it and go for the next initiative. Because that, that's it. That's a turn. That's a turn. But we have to get into some hand-to-hand -hand here. And I'll save that for uh, another video.